So it's going to be a little tricky on this takeoff because of the wind. But uh, we'll see what happens. Here it's about uh, 640. And uh, we're going to take off. If you remember from the previous video where I had an exhaust failure, this is right after that flight and uh, the same night. I went ahead and repaired this uh, exhaust. It took about 35 minutes. And uh, so here we go. We're going to take off and have another flight. Just watching the, the wind just to kind of get an idea what it's doing. The wind is actually coming from the back side of me, uh, from left to right, from the back. So I'm waiting for it to shift just a little. Okay. Left brake. Right brake. See if we can catch this breeze here. Uh, 21 miles an hour. So the earlier flight that we had today, prior to this one, I was talking about uh, equipment and uh, you know which uh, which equipment is better than which, and the issues that we have with equipment. And just as I was talking about equipment and equipment fa failure, I had an exhaust uh, break. And uh, what broke was the, uh, there's a uh, brass ring, and it's uh, in between two connections that's held together by three bolts that uh, have springs on them. And uh, there was uh, two of them broke. The gasket that's in there, the uh, brass uh, gasket, the ring, it was gone, and uh, so uh, fortunately, uh, nothing hit the prop. The prop looks good, and we'll continue on with this journey. And when we're done with this flight, uh, we'll fly for a little bit. Uh, we'll go uh, back down and. Uh, before we fly again, we'll uh, make sure that uh, we tighten that up because that uh, brass, uh, where that connects, that brass uh, wears down and uh, the uh, connections form around it, making a good seal. So that's the first time I've had that happen. So it uh, seems like there's a lot of... Uh, exhaust uh, issues uh, that happen, but uh, we'll move on from that. It's uh, 468 feet in the air, doing 21 miles an hour, uh, head towards uh, Plainfield, or Plainville, Ohio. The uh, sky has smoothed down quite a bit, and uh, it's real nice out here. Just a few bumps, which we normally get coming all across the these hills over here. About 2.2 miles away from the runway, I can see it ahead. Beautiful night. It's going to be really pretty here later. Don't know how long I'll stay out. I'm 
just happy to get one flight in, and tonight got two flights in. I guess we'll have a part one and a part two YouTube video. Exhaust a gasket uh, failure, and uh, it's not really a gasket, it is sort of a gasket, but the brass will ring. There's probably another name for it. I'll figure that out soon. But I had extras. I bought uh, extra rings, extra uh, the spring loaded bolt. And while I was repairing it, uh, it took me about, uh, well, it took a while. It might have took uh, maybe 35, 40 minutes, I think. I'll have to go back and see how long it took. But uh, it's kind of interesting. It's a good, uh, it's a good test to, to see what tools you uh, have and don't have and what you need and what you ought to bring the next time. Yeah, we're flying over here by uh, West Lafayette. As you can see, it's a really green, and all the fields have been plowed. This is a bottom land down by the river, a lot of sandy soil, good for pumpkins, just about anything you want to grow. Uh, it really grows really well over here. Over here in this river, uh, there's uh, several bald eagle, a lot of other waterfowl. A lot of deer running around. Almost 800 feet. We're just cruising along. Been flying for about 20 minutes. So we're about 178 feet. Been flying for about 26 minutes. 3.2 miles away from the runway. Go down here and take a look at which way the flag going. It doesn't really matter which way it's going. I, strikes can land in the wind with the wind. Either way, they are okay. Going into the wind. This wing just wants to fly. I've said that a thousand times. We're set at three, so I'll just leave it at that to do a low pass here and then spin around. We're about 40 feet off the ground. We'll come in a little bit lower and just see how smooth it is here. Not too bad. About 13 feet off the ground. Fly a little bit of throttle and just hang in here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take that up. Pull off to the right here. Take the bend to the wind, get to the left. Go ahead and make an approach and just floating. Pretty smooth. Doing about twenty two miles an hour. Just floating down here. Put a little break. Slow us down a little bit. There we are. And just see if we can put the wing down without smacking it. There we go, right there. And you can see the wind coming off the off to the right.